Hi, I'm Joe Polizzi, and this is the Content Inc. Podcast. Five minutes every Monday for content creators who desire to be content entrepreneurs. A few weeks back, I gave a speech and had about 20 minutes of time to field questions. And one of the questions came from a marketing director at a mid-sized manufacturing company. He said he'd been working hard on their blog, but haven't yet been able to build an audience of any size or even increase traffic to any noticeable extent. You know, we've all been there. It feels bad. It's tough. We power through. And his question was this, would it help if I pushed to get the blog put on the main navigation and better promoted on their corporate site? And obviously, my short answer was yes. And my long answer was, it probably doesn't matter. Now, let me explain. Nobody wants to read your blog. Nobody wants to listen to your podcast, or this podcast for that matter. Nobody wants to subscribe to your e-newsletter. These things described as they are are meaningless. A while back, I had to go to AT&T's website to upgrade one of our family phones. And if you've noticed recently, they've been spending a ton of advertising. Actually, they've been spending a ton of advertising since the dawn of time. And some of their ads are fairly entertaining. And when I went to the AT&T homepage, they feature a large link in the middle of the page that says, watch the TV ad. Now, here's an entertaining piece of content, I would think, with a call to action that says, watch an advertisement. Nobody wants to watch an ad, but do they want to see an incredible story, uh, something helpful, something funny, perhaps? Heck yes. But they label it as an ad. You know, we always think about the tech. Why are you labeling your blog as a blog? A blog by itself is meaningless. And I know we all do this. It depends on your goals. But this is why a content brand is so important. Was it Indium Manufacturing's blog that found success? No. It was their content brand from one engineer to another. Was it John Deere's success with their magazine? No. It was their content brand, The Furrow. We always want to focus on the tech. The blog is the tech. The magazine is the tech. It's happening today with NFTs. Today, people love or hate NFTs. They get focused on the NFT, the non-fungible token, but that's just the tech. It's the project that matters. It's the mission that matters. It's the content that matters. The NFTs are just the delivery mechanism. So take some time and think about what you call your content initiatives. It really matters to customers. Putting blog newsletter, magazine, social media on your main navigation probably won't help you much. Nobody cares about your white papers or your ebook, but they do want something that will help them live better lives or get better jobs. All you have to do is name it properly. Good luck.